you and Instagram have trained them that the places in Instagram come from Foursquare. Well, yeah, at the bottom it's to say powered by Foursquare. And unless yeah. you're really looking for it, you don't see it. So, I mean, we get, you know, we get, comp we get complaints all the time from people about it. And I'm like, hey, there's not much we can do about it. Go, you know, go talk to, go talk to those guys about it. Um, you know, Instagram very famously sold for $1 billion at the time. Uh -huh. um, people said a big value is that they could attach photos to places. Do you feel like they built that $1 billion on your back? Oh, um, no, I mean, I f Instagram is awesome for a wide variety of reasons, one of which it was like growing like a weed, like mm -hmm. the iOS app and the, and the Android app. And I think, um, you know, if anything, they were probably challenging Facebook's superiority or dominance in, in photos. And I think that's probably one of the reasons that they were so attractive to, to Facebook. Um, I think that the, uh, you know, having geotagged photos is really interesting. I don't think it's like the, the main tenant there. But then, um, you know, I look at like the way that we're powering, like, you know, we're powering um, Flickr's geotagged photos. Mm -hmm. Like we have, gosh, I think we have almost 50 million photos in our database. I might, I'd have to double check that number. But there's like, there's a lot of photos that mm -hmm. we have that we've gotten from users. Um, and, you know, it's like there's, like we, we have people that are adding to our data set every day, both through the Foursquare app, through the Swarm app, and through all the, what, the 65,000 other apps that are either sending us a lot of data or just a little bit of data every mm -hmm. single day. 